Is this what you want? Like wither? Yeah. Just what? Yeah, I'll hold. Do then wither. they can go down and they I can... I do wither is. Right. Where your highest point is. First of all, you got to get them stacked just right. So you won't have the right answer. This is good for you guys. Beckett! No! Okay. Now. No! Okay. Now. It's okay, baby. Find the highest point of your wither. Okay, here. Mark yeah. that with your finger. Here's here your breastbone here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. He's just being now what you're looking he for is just being just the area from here to here is one hand width, right? Right. Now you want the elbow, and you want to swing it. Okay, you guys that are learning, get up by this dog. So, so, you're, so you want to try it yourself, but you're the one who's going to be evaluating what puppy you're going to put in the ring and you've got to know each individual there's no such thing as a perfect dog that's why we go to dog shows we're still trying to find one right <laughs> there's no such thing as a perfect dog i said that for 30 years so we're still trying to but find that perfect one you find where your faults are so you can camouflage them right, the right, right so if you go from here to here measure that point okay. with your hand Okay. From there to here. Then swing down with your finger and try to be no further than the elbow right there. Okay. Just on right on. Okay. So now, what I'd see on this is he's short. He's short on the foreleg. Now, when you find the wither here and the breastbone here, okay, you go from here to here. Okay. Swing this down. You see where I need the elbow? Yeah. Yeah. I need the elbow back here, one inch further back. Okay, okay. So that just tells you he's got a forward neck. You gotta build through here to give him the uh, with a lot of extra hair through here to give him the, the appearance that he's got a layback back here where his layback should be here instead of here. So it's for your own benefit to know how to groom around it. Then pick up a dog's foot. Oh, one thing you want to do is never allow any hair between the pads of the feet. This isn't my dog. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying as if it were. Oh, sure. It may be by the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> if, if there's no hair between the pads of the foot, the foot's going to be up on its toes, and it will stand and walk a lot better. Okay? So no hair between the pads of the feet. All, that out. all right. She's out of Another thing you want to watch for is check where your last rib is. Okay. Last rib. Okay. Put your fingers from the last rib to the to the loin, so you, to you get to the hind leg. All four. All four. Okay. Okay. No, no. You'd like that to be as short as possible, right? Because uh, on a bit, you'd like it a little bit longer because it carry puppies easier. Right? But this is the area you want to shorten. Okay. Okay. Uh, just check muscle literature on the back quarters. If it feels like a marshmallow back here, the dog isn't getting enough exercise. Right. So you, uh, that's one of the things good judges check for is that second thigh and see how much. Uh, but also if I push back a little bit, it's going to be tighter. Sometimes, not always. Okay. Here, I'll show you. You check okay. those. Uh, I'll pull in a little forward, check the muscle tension. Now I'm going to push back a little and check it. Doesn't change the muscle tension. Right. Okay. Okay. So if you've got marshmallow muscles back there, the dog's yeah, yeah. not getting enough exercise. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And you won't have the same kind of rear. So I know. So that's the quickest way a judge checks to see if what kind of condition the dog's in. Okay. Okay. Other than that, you want from here to here. The, the size of the dog here to be the same as the size of the dog here. Okay. They're a square dog, right? So, and you measured uh, that from here to here? From there to the wither point. And in this case, the wither point's there. And you turn that around and it should be the ideal. And this you want to do with the ruler. Okay, everything else you can do with hands. You want from elbow to floor to be the same length as elbow to the top. Okay. And you can see uh, if you were being, I could do two fingers beyond this. Okay, just two fingers beyond.
very close. See? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you want the leg and the body to be identical. Now, in young puppies, the leg will be longer than the body because the body grows. Then when you kick, check the dog from the side this way, you should feel a spring hey, to the ribs. Enough. Now, there's many, breed, uh, many of the lines whose ribs don't spring till they're a year and a half old. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> tail set should be, <laughs> tail sh set should be right there and there shouldn't really be a dip, but the tail should never be squirreled either. Good tail set. Okay, now you've done pretty much the body. You go to the head. Head should be equal. Four fingers on the top, you should be able to get four fingers here. Now, as you can see, four fingers covers the nose. Mm -hmm. So if you were doing anything with his head, you'd long aid it here. So comb the whiskers forward, okay? And clean this off real tight. Uh, uh, eyes are good. You want an oval eye and a dark eye, and that's very good. And when you, if this was a natural ear dog, You'd want the ears to bend over and the inside edge of the ear touch the head. Now, whether they come up a little or go flat across the head is your own preference. There is no written law, but the inside edge does have to touch the side of the cheeks. Now, naturally, our dogs use their ears like radar, so right. sometimes that doesn't always happen. You'd like clean cheeks. When you run your hand across here, you shouldn't find a big zomatic cheekbone here. So you you see judges go like this with the head of the dog. What they're lo really looking for is this dog cheek. Then they'll go like this and check. And usually they'll only check to make sure that the two eye teeth overlap and make a nice meld together. Mm -hmm. They seldom go all the way back and check and see if you got any tooth in your mouth, which is but supposed to be. In the breed standard, does it ask for full dentition? Yes, it does, but judges don't. Thank you, checks. thank you. The judges only check. I, and I thank judges who do check. Oh, yeah. Thanks well, you, uh, they also say the dog's supposed to have a depth of a pad. How many judges have you ever seen checked for the depth Never. of pad? Never. Never. Yeah. Yeah.